Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a Maya file compatible with earlier versions of Maya to the one that the file originates from. For this demonstration I'm going to be working between Maya 2011 and Maya 2012. So in other words I'm going to show you how if you save a file in 2012 it can still be compatible in 2011 if you follow these steps. Now. We're going to start with this uh, character file. This is a character that I've been working on for a uni project. Um, I have saved it as a .mb. That's a Maya binary file in 2011. So this file is compatible in Maya 2011 and it will be instantly readable when we open Maya 2012. So let's do that now. Let's open Maya 2012. Um, let's start by not closing 2011, but let's just start a, a new scene. In which case, this file will close. Okay. Now I'm going to locate Maya 2012. Okay, now let's open the same file again. Right, let's open the scene, and the name of the file that we've just seen is called character.mb. So let's select that. Okay, and here's the same file. Now I'm just going to manipulate this slightly. Just make a few changes. I mean, you, you don't have to uh, manipulate it, but I'm just trying to show that it's the same file we're working with. Okay, that's been done. Now, just to demonstrate, when I save this file in Maya 2012, like so, let's go back to Maya 2011. So that's this one. Okay, we're back in 2011. Actually, just to demonstrate, I'll close this file. Right, let's go back to 2011. I'm going to open the same file again, character.mb, and as you can see, because I've saved it in 2012, it's no longer compatible with 2011. Now, I'm going to sort that out so our character is readable in 2011 and 2012. So, we're going back to 2012, let's open our character again, character.mb file. Okay, what I'm going to do now is save this file as a .ma, so that's .maya ascii. So maya ascii, so we're going to create a brand new file Let's just call it character again. Okay, so now we have character.ma. Now, to make it readable with 2011, we need to go to Finder or Explorer if you're using a Windows computer. Let's locate our file. Okay, here we've got character.mb and character.ma. MB can no longer be readable with 2011. To make character.ma readable with twen uh, 2012 and 2011, we are going to have to open this file in a text editor, not a word processor, but a text editor. So, 
So let's uh, right click, go to open with, and then other. Right, we want to open it in text edits. So if you're using a Mac, uh, it will be text edit that you want to open in. But if it's a Windows computer, then it's notepads. So let's open that. Uh, we have this dialog here. The uh, three bits which uh, concern us are this bit here, which is requires Maya 2012. F file info products Maya 2012 and this bit here which is version 2012 x64 so all you have to do to make this readable with 2011 is to change all three of these numbers from 2012 to 2011 simple as that okay and let's save it Right, so for now we're g we're not going to need uh, 2012 anymore. So let's shut that. Let's go back into 2011. Open, and we want to open our character .ma scene. So let's click that, and with any luck, as you can see, my 2011 is a bit. Uh, messed up, uh, but that's nothing to do with what we're doing. And as you can see, the same file now opens in 2011, having been edited in 2012. I hope this tutorial is useful for you. Thanks for listening.